Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it is wonderful. Yeah, you all. I just wanted to say something about that I pet goat thing. I've never watched. I didn't even know they ever had a cartoon of it. Um, but somebody um, shared a link to that video on my telegram because I had did the video tonight about the fish. He said, Gina, go to the timestamp of something. I couldn't remember what it was. And there was like some kind of fish that were thrown on something. But um, I couldn't watch it. I couldn't watch it uh, because of the nudity in it. And um, it's, it was like dark and dreary, you all. And um, so I had deleted <laughs> I had deleted his link, and then he goes, Gina, why did you do that? And I thought, well, it's inappropriate for me. Uh, but then, you know, I told him I'm going to have to leave it up because some people may not find it inappropriate. They may not. And um, I, d I just don't want that stuff in my mind. You all might have watched it. It's, um, I think it's that thing right there. It says, I Pet Goat 2. It's like a comedy or something, some kind of an animated film. Um, but I, I can't, I seen a symbolism of the male, <laughs> I see the symbolism of the male organ in there. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word you all, I'm not. And I thought, why are they showing that? Of course, you know, that used to be in ancient, um, I guess, architecture and stuff and drawings and things like that. But and then I saw nudity in the cartoon form. I never saw it either. All I knew what about was the book. That's it. But I thought, you know, I can't watch it. I don't want that in my mind. It, it would be literally embedded in my mind, and I just can't do it, you all. But they said that that was the, um, the person's way of getting the symbolic. It, it was the symbolic meaning behind the video, if you could even get through it. I, I couldn't, I didn't want to even get through it. I only watched maybe 10 seconds of it or something. And I said, I can't watch that. That's got, that's got nudity in it. <laughs> that's what I said. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, something like that, you all, something like that. But yeah, I, I wouldn't encourage anybody to watch it. I really wouldn't. I think it's that one right there that I pet goat to. When I saw some of that, what I saw, it reminded me of when I went into the museum, a museum, and I, I saw the like um, abstract art, the new type of art, kind of remind me of, um, it, 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 I can't resonate with it, my spirit can't with that type of art, it's like um. It's a different type of creativity. It really is uh, in that movie. Uh, very different than what I would create. It is, you all, uh, to be quite honest. Hello there, bang, bang. That's all. Yes, you are watching HG Guest from the Philippines. You know what? Let me tell you something. When I worked at Amazon, I had the most wonderful um, Filipino women that I worked with two of them, Edna and um, Jennifer, and we would dance. They taught me how to dance. They did. I loved it. I loved it. Um, yeah, they're very hard workers and the very wonderful friends. I loved them. Still do, um, but yeah, I try to meet up with them whenever I can, but yeah, they taught me how to dance, and I had a ball. I had a ball working at Amazon with them. Um, hello, you all. Um, Earth, Enter Stars YouTube, um, never heard of it, never heard of that, you all. I'm not one to watch YouTube channels. Someone dropped a YouTube comment on my, this YouTube channel saying, Gina, you follow such and such, and you copy such and such's work, and I don't follow nobody. Okay, I don't. I, I'm not a follower, you all. I really am not that type of a follower. I'm not. Uh, and I, I don't copy other people's work. I don't. My hands are full with what I'm trying to share. Yeah. Oh, you're so welcome. And, you know, I love watching the videos of my 
my friends, I find them on the Facebook and they love to dance. They love to dance. All the Filipino women, it's like the community. They found themselves a community here in Indiana. They get here, they get together, fix the most wonderful food. They get out the karaoke machine and they dance and they sing and sing and sing. It's, it's really a wonderful feeling to watch. It is. I didn't know how much they appreciated being able to do that, but it's really, they're happy. They're very happy. Uh, and they have each other, which is wonderful. So they're not here alone. I've seen around 40 or 50 of them all at one place. So it's great. It really is. Even though they left their country and came over here. Yes, that's right. That's exactly right. Yeah, I'm, I'm a friend. I am. Yeah. I don't, I don't like people to call me a follower. I don't. And I don't like to say I got followers or I got fans. I don't like that. To me, I don't like that. It's, it's too... It's not, it's not personal. Okay, it's not. That's okay, you all. Yes. You know that you are the goat and the lamb. Is not that funny? Nah, I don't even know anything about it. Gina, do you know that I am the goat and the lamb? Um, I don't know anything about that, you all. I don't. Nothing about any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's right, Bang Bang. We are family. That's right. We are a, a global family. I like it. Global. Even though it's uh, on social media, it's still global. Uh, and it's a connection. It's a really good connection. Um, Lamb of God. That's like the song. Behold the Lamb, the Lamb of God. Um... The Notre, Notre Dame Cathedral was a ritual. I heard something about Notre Dame. wonder why they did that movie, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, yeah. Hello. Um, I wasn't going to get on here tonight because I thought I'm kind of tired. Um, I did, but you know what? Have you all, this is, this is, y'all heard about, you know, if when that, 2024 comes it is a theory 24 2024 comes and the, like a planetary system is going to be here and it's going to cause the pole to flip uh well i i saw this something was shared and it showed the united states um going down 30 degrees a 30 degree shift with the plate with the crust and it was going to be down by the equator. That was one theory. And I I looked at that. You, I don't really look at stuff like that very much at all. That's really, a, I saw this group on the Facebook. I thought, wow, they got a lot of interesting things. And that wasn't the only thing they talked about. They have a lot of history, all kinds of ancient history. And I saw that. And I thought, well, if the United States war was to shift 30%, a 30% or 30, 30 degree, 30 degree down toward the equator, I, I got to thinking it would make sense that we have immigration coming up from the south, from the southern border, because truly now you have to think about this um, strategically. If United States does go down that far, then it's going to be a lot warmer. Some woman says, well, I'm in Arizona. It's, it's like a desert. She goes, that means I'm going to have to get used to rain and humidity based on that particular prediction. So really I was sitting there thinking, you know, we have people from South America below coming up. So when it does shift, see, they'll already be acclimated to the climate. Um, they had various models. I want to get the book that that was from. It was from a very, very old book, I think. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm an open-minded person. I am. I like to look at all different types of angles. I really do, you all. Uh, you're in um, southern Mex Mexico. This is down there by the equator. And this lady was specifically talking about um, Arizona, where the United States would set if it came down there near the equator. And it actually was like, um, I have it on my phone, but I, I can't pull it up, you all. It was really, it's really interesting to see all the different um, theories out there, it really is. 
And then uh, some of them get a bad rap, they really do. Some theories do, and then some, well, they're just, yeah, that's all they are. No, I think it, it showed it, it showed the United States that would literally, it's up here right now. It showed it, it showed it coming down to just about uh, settling about right here, like the, the, like the top of it around right in here is how it showed it like that. Right around in this area right here, the whole country. But I couldn't really uh, tell for sure. I don't really, I don't really, I'm not really good at staring at those things. Um, it's like 10 degrees right now. Yeah, it's really um, 10 degrees. You know, and I was looking up the elevation of where I'm at, and I'm like um, 751 feet above sea level. And then I noticed um, down in Jeffersonville, Indiana, near the river, it's like 500, uh, I think 519 feet, perhaps. Yeah, because, you know, this, it's really interesting. I thought they said that if there were waters to come, if the water would rise, you wanted to get a certain, um, up to a certain elevation uh, for some reason. I remember hearing about that a few years back. Well, actually, around five years back. Um, um, yeah, if the, when the other, yeah, there's talking about the shift, uh, a pole shift, uh, when that uh, system would come through. This one person had predicted that it would be around 2040 when that happened, but this other individual, who's a very intuitive individual, she doesn't see it happening at that time. She she sees it happening around 2024, and, and so do several other people. Um, well, Indianapolis is, it's actually beneath. It's not as high as where I'm at. I looked that up. I think it's, uh, it might be around 100 or more below, or maybe it might be a tad bit above. Something like that. You all, hello. Thank you for being on here. We got our bang, bang, muck, a bang. I want to say muck, a bang. I, I'm going to say muck, muck, bang. Yes, we got her here. It is negative 90 degrees Fahrenheit now. It's really cold, you all. You're having record lows. You know, my mother used to, um, growing up, we had a calendar, the flip calendars. Every day, she'd watch the news. She always would write the temperature down, the highs and the low, for years and years and years and years and years, even to this day. She said she had noticed a different change in the temperature throughout all those years. Now, I'm like 55 years old right now. I think I am. 55 years old, so she did it ever since I was little. That's a long time, you all, of doing that. Yes, thank you. Um, you, you look that up. That's wonderful. Yeah. So yeah, it's really neat to know, um, your elevation of your city where you're at. I don't know what you can do about it, but nothing, but it's okay. Um, it's snowing in Ithaca, Ithaca, New York, Ithaca, Ithaca. You know what? One time, let me tell you about this. So one time when we lived in uh, Henderson, Nevada, that's the longest place we ever lived. We bought this, uh, three in the tree, three in the tree. Uh, Ford 1983 Ford pickup. It was a nice. It was a nice one. It was red and got the flared, flared uh, rear end. Well, I put a new engine in it. I put a new <laughs> engine in that truck. And uh, when I had went to the auto store, I asked this guy. He goes, "Well, I can help you all do that." And I'm thinking, okay, because you know I didn't think I could do it, but I, I, I could do it. When he came in, he messed it up. He messed up that, that engine in that truck, that 83 Ford. I did all the work. All he did was just stand around and talk. That's all he did. He stood around and talked. And I'm the one who doing all the work. The only thing he really helped with was that um, steering wheel, um, rack and pin, whatever that is on the edge of that. I even forget the name of it, where I had to get a pitman arm to even get that long thing. That's the only thing he helped with. And I said, I will trade you... He wanted that truck because we're going to move, and I didn't. I had another vehicle. He wanted that truck, and I said, "Well, what do you got to trade for it?" And uh, he said something, 
and he had this Ithaca, this shotgun. It was called a Ithaca. It was an old gun or something, I, 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 and I traded it for it, and, and some other some other ones you all, and some other stuff, but it was called Ithaca. It was an Ithaca gun. It was, it was very, um, I, it was a, I guess a collector's item or something. Oh, but that was so, so long ago. That's why I uh, said that, because you said Ithaca, New York. And that was my story with that Ithaca uh, brand of that. It was an antique uh, thing like that. Hola, bon dia, bonjour, ciao, buenas noches. That's right, buenas noches, Irene. Um, I... Well, what's going on with that pet goat? I couldn't watch it. Somebody told me to watch it because when I did the video tonight on the YouTube, I talked about the fish that fell from the sky and stuff. And there were fish that were thrown in that video. Mm. Fish that were thrown in that video, they were striped and they were thrown down on something. And um, when I saw the other stuff afterward, I, I couldn't watch it no more. That's why. That's why I said that. And I had deleted that comment on my telegram and then he asked me why and I said well I felt it was inappropriate but then I put it back on he put it back on and I told him well if other people want to watch it they can but I, it's not for me I don't find it artistically pleasing and it wasn't pleasing to my spirit it, it was kind of dark um, but that's what I said it, it literally it's packed full of symbolism if you can handle that type I'm very careful what I, I look at what I listen to and everything I just I just can't get into it I don't want to, I don't want to see it. I don't. Um, the Ithaca Deer Slayer. Yes! It had, um, it was, what was it? Um, you could put three of those things in it at once. A three. Three of them. You could go boom, boom, boom. Three of them in a row. Um, I think that's what it was. Yeah. So, so long ago, you all. It was. My goodness, that was back in the 90s. So now we're in the 2021, you all. Is you listening in Cincinnati, Ohio? Yes, you are. You are seven feet elevated. <laughs> ah, you are on, you're on the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Well, that, you're not too far off away from the water up high. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yep. That's what it was. It had a kick to it, too. It really did. And I was like a small frame. I only weighed, back then, I only weighed like, um, when I got married, I weighed 98 pounds. Uh, and I stayed that weight until I, I got pregnant with my daughter. And then I got up to around 148. But that was pretty, a lot. But then um, once I had her, and then I had my son, then I got back down. I, I, I Listen, I'm going to tell you what. I fluctuate between um, 118 and, I don't want to say it, but I'm at like 128 right now, you all. But, you know, when you get older, you put on a little bit extra weight. And with all this stuff that's going on, you're going to pack on a few pounds. Uh, I don't like the weight that I'm at right now because it can't fit into some of my clothes. <laughs> I cannot do it. You are probably having the same thing happening. You all hit that like button. Ooh, Stephen King's books. I think there's people that read them. I, they're kind of dreary. But I, I think I heard that some of his books were um, kind of, um, what you kind of tell of the fortune, fortune telling or whatever you want to call it. Um, predictable, uh, I don't know what you call it. Um, prophetic, maybe, of what is to come. Yes. Muckabang. <laughs> I'm a small frame. I really am. That's right. You've been thinking about the sale and the stand lately a lot. The sale stand. What's a sale stand? Um, yeah. Oh, you from Henderson, Nevada. That's where I used to live. I used to live there. 737 Greenway Road, Henderson, Nevada. You go there and check it out. It probably don't look nothing like what we had it. Um, yeah. When we lived there, that road ended at on Greenway Road. It didn't go back into the desert at that time. It did not. Um, 
But I, I sure remember when we had floodwaters coming, we had a really torrential downpour and the, it was like a muddy, muddy river flowing through the street, you all. Uh, it was really exciting. I remember standing outside filming it with a big VHS recorder. My children were, oh, they were so tiny. Yeah, they, I'm sure that that city has built up so much back there. Um, you've seen parts of Henderson. Yeah. Predicted programming, yes. Um, hello there, and Saskatoon. Is it Saskatoon or Saskatoon, Donna? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's kind of, he's kind of, he's kind of dark. He really is kind of dark uh, in his thinking. Kind of scary. Ah, I love you all too. Yes. That's great. You're you're just outside of oh yeah outside of Nellis Air Force Base. Um, that's where my husband was stationed. He was stationed at Nellis Air Force Base, and then um, he he would um, go remote TDY practically every single week. Come home on the weekends to Tonopah. He went to Tonopah and then he went to Beatty. It was continuous, and the red flag was a really big deal back then, too. So they just go out there, and they just sit while red flag's going on, and they just uh, jam communications. Uh, Tone of paw. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I went out there once. We took a, is this, it's, there's nothing there. It's um, really nothing. There wasn't nothing there back in the um, 90s when we were there at that area. My, my favorite place in, uh, when we lived in Nevada, we would, we would go to Lake Mead at times and, and St. Thomas Cove and camp and Red Rock Canyon. It was really pretty at Red Rock Canyon. Yeah. Um, what, what are you going to prepare for? Um, well, I have no idea. Whatever, um, Somebody's telling you to prepare well. Well, somebody said when they, when they went to the um, grocery store here, not where I'm at, but downtown and uh, by the river, uh, it was those shelves were practically wiped, wiped clean is what they said. I said, is it because we're going to have a little bit of snow or something, the weather? They said they think it's just a little bit of everything. And um, I had went into that Walmart to pick up some chicken noodle soup and um, I wanted to get some egg noodles and all the egg noodles totally gone. If you wanted to get egg noodles in a bag, you couldn't get no egg noodles. You couldn't get, um, really, the only noodles they had in a bag left was some kind of wheat, wheat. And a lot of the pasta in the boxes were gone. A lot of the soup was gone. Um, is what happens. Do you believe in the spiritual beings in the sky are the chariots of God? And the prophet Ezekiel spoke of chariots, um, the vehicle, the wheel within the wheel. Oh, yeah, there's, there's spiritual beings in the sky. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, Jerry Honeycott, honey, honey something, Jerry Honey, I'll call, I won't call you Jerry Honey. Um, have you um, looked back on history of the earth and all the terrible things that have been done to human beings? Um, I don't think that was benevolent human beings that did it. I think it was malevolent. I think it was the fallen angels um, and the demons that are on the earth. And I think they opened up portals, too. So, yeah, they're on the earth. They don't need to come down from the sky. They're on the earth. They really are. All you have to do is look back through history at all the atrocities done. It's absolutely horrific. And um, what's happening now, it's, uh, it's really sad. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you said stockpile if... Um, don't worry about tomorrow. Don't, I said stockpile if you're worried about tomorrow. It's too late for you. 
Um, was there something regarding the title? Um, well, what it was, um, there was some, there was a scene where fish were thrown, fish were thrown in that pet goat book, in that pet goat movie. I never even knew they had a cartoon movie. I, I really didn't. I never read the book. All I seen was, you know, who holding the book and that was it. They're bringing heaven to earth. Well, there's supposed to be a, a new heaven and a, a new earth. There is. Uh, it can come today if it like to. It really can. <laughs> it really could. Um, yeah, one-sided uh, is what it is. One-sided. Yeah. So um, if you're all just tuning in, bang, bang, honey, you on your own tonight. That's okay. You got this. You have got this. That's right. You've got it. Um, yes, we're, I think, a humankind, human, humanity is waking up. It is. It really is waking up. Boom. Yeah, you got to be ready for everything. Prepare for battle. Um, yeah, you don't want to be caught off guard. Not to say that you'll never be caught off guard, but there are some instances in this life when you've had an opportunity, you've been warned to prepare for whatever it is or take precautionary measures and you just just ignore it and then something happens and then you didn't do what you th wanted to do. You just ignored it. Yeah. Um. Hello there, Pepper. Pepper 405Q. How did I hear about this? Well, somebody shared something on my Telegram. He shared a link to a video um, concerning the video that I did of the fish on the YouTube channel. And he, he referenced that, something about fish in there. I said, I've never heard of that. And then I saw a part of it. And then I... Um, then I um, deleted his thing, and um, he asked me why, so I, I said I, I found it inappropriate, and but I, I left it back on there. He never did message me back, you all. He didn't. So, yeah, I do have a telegram right here, and um, I do. People just share a lot of different things on here. They do. So I shared that video right here, too, there what's going on and talked about the fish is what it was. Yeah. I've never watched the family guy either. Really, I, I really never watched much TV at all. You came diving in. You came into it. Oh, well, some people can resonate. If you can resonate with that and you can draw um, conclusions uh, by watching it, I, then I think that's that's great. I just, I can't bring myself to do it. And I wouldn't even be able to get it, you all. I really wouldn't because I can't, I can't think on that type of, um, a, with that type of a mindset. I guess I'm, um, I don't know. I really don't know. Um... Yeah. Are we fishing? Well, no, uh, we're not fishing. Although somebody said there was fish thrown in the video of the I the car the cartoon I Pet Goat Two, um, and I don't know what that meant. I really don't. You watch many, which I don't know what all this stuff is. Um. Yeah. Well, oh, is Mucka Bang. Aw, she is precious. Yes, her is. Her so precious to us, you all. That's that's exactly right. Have have the majority of you all um always lived in the 
in the United States or the state that you're in or in the country that you're in. I know that the majority of the people that I've grown up with, um, they've, they've, they've lived in this state. Yeah. I guess I probably would have never moved out had my, I not married my husband in the military and then we went places, but then we moved back, but in a different town. Yeah. Boom. Yes. Good night, Alma. Oh, you live all, you live mostly in Michigan, Virginia and New Jersey. Um, well, um, Jerry, honey, thank you. Yes, Alma's going to sleep. I would go to sleep, but I, I got myself wound up is what happened. Alberta, Canada. Yeah, I've only been there twice, only by the Niagara Falls. And I guess, what, like everybody else, I don't think I'd probably get over the border now. <laughs> I would never make it out of the country now. Um, even though I got a passport, I, I'll never make it out. I shouldn't say never. Okay, I should not say never. Um, that's all right, you all. Yeah. Oh, your, your, your water pipe froze. Oh, no. Oh, Ryder, that's a big job. No. I hope you were able to wrap them up in some insulation and stuff, although you probably had to dig up some pipes and replace them. And if they are metal, you probably had to do some welding or whatever, soldering and stuff. Yeah, that's a big mess. Arizona all your life. Yeah, that's right. That's why I don't want to say never. I don't. I, I got my passport several years back. Oh, I got my passport back in, um, I think around 2016, my passport to leave the country and go travel. I was going to go to, I put on my passport paper, I was going to go to South Africa and see my friend Miriam, um, but I didn't make it there. Because you have to put, when you apply for one, you have to put, well, what, what do you want to do? Where are you going to go? And I said, I'm going to go to South Africa. I'm going to visit my friend, Miriam. But I didn't get to use it yet. I didn't. Mm. You have an un un feel un uneasy feeling in the air. I love you too, Talika. Um, you're in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Oh, you had flooding. A lot of flooding there. That's right. Um, I would have never pictured myself doing what I'm doing right now. I would not have. No way. <laughs> That's okay. It is really. Oh. Yeah, fiddlesticks. I, I can't watch it. Yeah. But that's okay. A lot of other people could watch it, and they loved it. Uh, and I guess that's fine. It is. You answer your own questions. Um, yeah, if you're all just tuning in, I'm not really saying much of anything on here. You have a lot of flooding in Malaysia or other places. You were born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. You all hit that, hit that button, hit that thumbs up button. I would hit it, but I can't hit it. You know, I heard now this is now I'm going to, I'm going to tell you a theory. I read, I read this theory uh, about the skies. They're trying their best to hold back whatever by doing that. That's what I read. They're trying. This is one person's point of view. They're trying their best to hold back the um, change as long as possible to buy time to um, get whatever it is in order, you all. Get whatever it is in order. I, I read that tonight and I thought, well, 
I hadn't heard that before. I've always heard the opposite side, but there, I guess there's like two sides to everything. There really is. So who knows? Hold back. Um, I don't know. The, the changes on Earth, the changes on Earth, what could happen? And then you got China with that great big bright sun, the, the big old sun that will burn you. And um, if... Um, you remember, if you have read, like in Revelation before, it talks about the sun scorching. The sun scorching. No, it said the sun will no, it says right here. It's talk about um, the fourth angel in Revelation. It says, um, the fourth angel poured out his bow on the sun, and the sun was allowed to scorch people with fire in that. It says, and the people were scorched by intense heat, and they cursed the name of God, who had authority over the plagues, and they didn't repent. Yeah, so, yeah. That's what it said, you all. Uh, there's a, I think there's another one about it. I really do. Ooh, I can't read it. Some people like to stay away from that revelations. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to. Oh, my God. That's that. No, that's, 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 I'm not going to read what I'm seeing, y'all. That's kind of gross. It really is. Yeah, I try to stay away from the Old Testament. In, in the Bible, I really try to stay away from there because there's a lot of um, stuff in there. But I, I do love the book of Job. I like the Proverbs and I like the Ecclesiastes. That's my favorite books. Uh, Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. Um, I would read them aloud all the time when my children were little. Listen to them on the CDs in the vehicle when we travel. Yeah, they're they're good instructions. They really are. They got some good sayings there. Yeah. You heard our sun is getting absorbed by a bigger sun. I heard that too. It's like something is behind it. And you know, if if the sun was allowed to scorch the people, would that like the plasma could come and do that. Plasma could literally, if like that plasma apocalypse, it could scorch people. Um, it really could. It could really like, that's just like that. Yes, the jeweled saints. Oh, yeah, it was. I didn't really um, do nothing for tonight. You see me talking about this now. What am I talking about? Um... Yeah. Let's see this. The Hopi, when they fall, the Hopi, Hopi Indians. Um, oh, just real interesting. Yeah, fifth world. Well, I just talk about just about anything. It's part of the sun's portal planet. Wow, that's really interesting. It really is. Oh, I love the book of Psalms. That's really beautiful. Psalms is pretty. Um, it's a long book. It really is. It's very, very long. Y'all, I'm thinking about something. Let me hold it right here. Yeah, I'm going to put that phone right there because I think I've got something in this drawer that I want to read. If, I, if I've if i got it in the drawer, um, I may not be able to find it. But you all see that I, I, I would even get off of here, but I can't. Well, I can't show you. I was going to show something that I read, but maybe I'll share that uh, writing with you all later. Because I had words that flowed into me several years back. And it literally did match... Um... um uh, whoever she said to Solomon, like, have you seen my lover? Yeah, I had all kinds of these words literally flow in. Um, it, it was, it was beautiful words. Absolutely beautiful. Several years back and I would write them down. It was like beautiful letters. 
to him as if I was her. So yeah, that was really exciting. Well, I, I love to write if I can get to that place within my spirit. It, the, it will literally just flow right in. Just like that, completely. Oh, let, let's see. Here we go, we got these people. Yeah, what if the sun is something to something a lot bigger? Oh my goodness. Oh yes, the emerald tablets. The emerald tablets. I got that book. It's pretty good. I guess if you can get it on audio, you can listen to it on audio if you don't like to read. Um, a catastrophic event. Gina. Well, I <laughs> I try not to do very many dance videos. Every time I do dance videos, I lose subscribers. I really do. They get mad or something. They think it's inappropriate for me to dance. Um, and besides, I really cannot dance if I'm not feeling it in my spirit. I, I, you're not going to see me dance because I can't, I, I can't without... I've got to be free in my spirit to dance. And if, if I don't feel it, then I can't do it. I won't do it because it won't be me. Uh, it won't. You're wondering if you died, Jason, and you're having afterlife experiences. What if uh, during a, in this awakening time that a lot of people are being um, having memories that literally are awakening up within them that have been hidden beneath the surface? Hi, all right, are you going to be right back? You're going to check that rocket thing out. You go ahead and check that rocket thing out. Uh, see if that's done anything yet. <laughs> it may not have. Yeah. You can do it. They, um, yeah, indestructible. Sing and dance whenever I feel like it. Well, I certainly have to feel like it or it's not happening. They want us to move, live in the, you know, somebody wrote a comment saying that we live we live on a computer board and we're the batteries. We live in the matrix, we live on the computer board and we're the batteries. And I was thinking about that comment and I thought, well, that doesn't give me no hope at all. I have nothing forward to look forward to, nothing to look forward to. If, if my mind goes there, what, what on earth would I even have to hope hope in if I if I thought of myself living on a computer board and a battery I wouldn't to me I think then then there's what's the purpose of me even living I, I can't go there I can't go that route I can't even though it may not it may be it may have some truth to it I can't do it because um, it's void of everything everything is, is void of everything that um, makes me who I am yeah, so I don't want to live on a computer board, and I don't want to be the battery on the computer board. Um, it, it would literally take all the life out of me, totally. Yeah, is what it would do. Whoo! Yes. That's right, you all. <laughs> I, I can't go that route. That would mean that anything and everything that I've ever done and who I am is nothing. Zilcho, non-existent. I can't live like that. Although that is a theory. It kind of makes me, makes me want to have a hot flash even thinking about it. It really does. So I, I can't really look too much into that. Yeah. Um, nothing's going on. There's not nothing going on at all. I just come on here and say hello. Uh, that's it. Yes, we are spirits in this body. Exactly what we are. Spirits inside of this body. Excuse me. You all hit that. You are not a Borg. I'm not a Borg. I don't want to be a Borg. Well, what if we are? Now, I did think that. What if we are a, an intelligent form of AI and we don't even realize it? But then that's as far as I got. 
<laughs> I did. And that's as far as I got. Eva wouldn't. That's exactly right. I love it, Laura. I love it. Eva wouldn't keep attacking us if we were in a computer. That's right. I love it. Yeah. Well, hardly anybody gets notifications from me. Even when I go look at the ana analytics of the video, um, sometimes it's like maybe 2.3% uh, people who watched got a notification. The majority of the people who watch this video are from the browsing when they first watch it. Browsing, just browsing on the internet is like 73%. And I'm thinking, wow, but you didn't even notify the people who are subscribed is what it is. Yeah. Well, I've, 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 I've made my complaint uh, that the notifications don't get sent out. Yeah. That's okay. That is quite all right. Yeah, some people get them and some people don't. And um, I don't know how they determine that. Yeah. Oh, you get bumped off. That's not very nice. Um, you are at two lives. <laughs> you got two lives in one night. Wow, that's an interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. You put videos on to relax. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Someone else said they don't remember their dreams anymore either. They don't remember them at all. Oh no. My battery's dying on my phone, you all. I'm going to have to be getting off of here and um, plug my phone in. But I wanted to get on here and say hello. And, um, yeah. Thank you all for coming on, even though it's late. A water tiger year? Are you a master number 22? Actually, when I worked at my former job, I actually went around asking everybody, finding out what their what their life path number was. And um, I was the only 11 there. And there was a lot of people, probably around, I don't know, I think I, how many people did I do? Probably, I don't know, around a, 95 people or something. I was the only 11 and I found two 22s. Two people who were a 22. Now I found some other guy who was an 11. Um, but that was it. The rest were the other numbers. Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Yeah, I am an 11. Yeah, it's supposed to be a master number 11. When I first looked up the reference of it years ago, it's like the healer, like the healer and a teacher is um, what it was. Really, um, I have all the traits that it said, but you have you noticed that when you go to certain sites, if I haven't went to them in, oh, it's been over a year or two. Over the years, they changed the definition, um, the description of what each number means. But I could really, I would read off what the description were for the certain life paths to the people and it matched them to a T. It really did to a T. Of course, there's a downside. There's a, there's like a, if you go over too far, you're going to fall in the wrong, whatever, as with anything in life, uh, you just got to make the right decisions if you want to grow. Yeah. Six, yeah, that's uh, humanity. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know, but I think you can go to this one place called um, Token Rock. Token Rock. Uh, here's what you can type in. You can type in a life path calculator, 
And then it asks you to tell you to put your birth date in there, life path calculator to tell you um, what your life path number is. is. And it's even more accurate than your um, zodiac. It's even more accurate if you look at stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, there was where I worked at, there was a, the majority of them were sixes. And they fit that area really good. They really did. Sixes. Yep. Yep, nine is. Oh, you're freezing. Can you make a rice sock? If you if you make yourself a rice sock with some rice, put it in a sock uh, or beans and heat it up in the microwave and it'll be warm and it'll keep you warm. It really will. You take a sock and just tie a knot in it and do it. it, it it'd be like... Um, like if you were young and your, your grandmother would heat up some rocks on the stove and put them under the blankets or the bed to get it warm for you. Yeah. Oh, rice socks are wonderful. And you can, you can sit in the chair and you can put your feet over top of it. You can hold it in your lap. You can put it on your neck. Rice sock and just tie a nice knot in it or a rubber band around it. It works really wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yes, or beans. They really do work good. They help keep you warm, especially if you, or you're freezing. That'll warm you up fast, and you'll be so. I used to love to put my feet on one at night when I would have to be on my feet all the time. Yes, it's healing. That's right. Um, yes, Christine, do it. An electric blanket. I love it. Hello there, Angela. Yes, all right, or you remember it. You remember it. Um, yeah, so if you all wanted to know what your um, thing was, you could look it up. And uh, it should calculate it for you. You'd want, um, I don't even know how you find it. Life, life path, just do, the, just do a life path calculator is what you would do. Now, there's people who specialize in things like this. No, I don't. I don't like in numerology and all that kind of stuff. Um, mm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the one that I had originally years ago found it on. If I can find it on here, you all. I went to this um, place right here a long time ago when I when I somebody told me about it. And when I say a long time ago, I mean back in 2014. So what you do, um, you just like, um, you put your birthday in here, is what you do, and then you just put your year in there, and then it, it goes, and then, it, and then it tells you what it is. Yeah, so it's, uh, this is my careers right here. Um, what is it? Listening and working to improve a person's life. A minister, a psychologist, a teacher, or a charity worker. That, that really is me. That's me. And, um, I, I am pursuing. I am pursuing enlightenment. I'm a pursuer of enlightenment. <laughs> That's what I am. Um, it's like that. Yeah, there's a there's a certain formula that they use. It really is. Yeah, love and light. It says that I have uh, the characteristics of a life path number two, and they are full of love. It's like um, yeah, because you got the one and the one, and you got the two, and then like the one. Um, yeah, and it's really interesting with those things because. It tells you who um, who you can get along with and who you can't based on your life path number. And uh, sometimes it's spot on and then sometimes it isn't. Yeah, love. L-O-V-E is the most important thing to have. 
right there. Boom. Your sister does that stuff. Yeah. You know, I had one of these, that whatever those wheels are, you know, where you do those wheels. I don't know what they call them. I had two of those things they call houses completely empty on mine. There was nothing in it. Um, I thought, wow, that's weird. I don't even know how to read them. I don't know how to read them at all. But that's okay. Yeah. Nine. Ooh. A soul path, too. Yeah. It's love. L O V E. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. 44s. You have telepathic abilities. A lot of people have telepathic abilities uh, and they don't even realize it. They don't. Actually, they second guess themselves when they think something. They totally second guess themselves and they don't ever um, pay attention to it. Wow, two years. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're a one. You're a very spiritual. Yeah. Whoo! Welcome, everybody. Yes. 33. Yes, that is a master number 33. You got 33s and 22s and 11s. Yeah. Whew. You ever ask yourself, how, how can they do that? See, they know. They know exactly your traits, everything about you based on your birth date and stuff. They can tell what type of person you are. They got it down pat, more or less. They got it down pat, each and every single person. You know, there's a way that they figured out all that kind of stuff, what we're prone to do, what we're not prone to do, and even can, like, look into the future and see whatever. It's really strange. It is how they know everything, but that's okay, you all. It's all right. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 33. Wow. Wow, 33 came out in a Powerball? Hmm. Yeah. Come on, Al Sanchez, you give me your birthday. You give me your birthday, because Gina, honey, is she's going to plug it in. You done did it. That's it. We got we to gotta find out what you are. I, I, I plug my battery in just for you, because I'm going to plug in your birthday. We're going to find out what you are. You can, you're going to have to be a, unafraid, Al Sanchez. Come on now. We got to do it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It really don't, really, in the big scope of life. Yeah. Oh, 11155. So, 11. That's November. We're going to see what you are. We're going to do it. <laughs> yes, we are. This is going to be exciting. So we're going to see. Look at we're going to do you. Is that, is that you? We're going to look. You're a five. Let me tell you about number fives. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you about number fives based on my, based on my life path number they're supposed to be my exact opposite and we're supposed to clash big time my husband is a five <laughs> there was two wonderful people i got along really well with at the work i was at they were fives too so this ain't always the same it's not always true yeah that's supposed to, that's supposed to who i'm supposed to stay away from but you are very flexible yes that's right just like that <laughs> That is funny. That is funny. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now you know. That's right. That was fun. That really was fun to see a five pop up on there. Yeah. Is it still coming down? We haven't found it come down yet, you all. We haven't. Bang, bang, muck, bang. You know it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You are a survivor, not a five. That's right. Yeah. 
You are a 33, but when you type it in, it says you are a 6. Uh, did you go to the Token Rock American Frankenstein? Yeah. All right, or honey. Let Gina gonna pick you out. You are a four. I hope you're a four. Let, let me let me let's pop let's pop it in, oh Ryder. We can do it. We can pop you in here if you want to tell people. Um, yeah, it's all right. Yes, 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 yes. We're gonna we're gonna get these moderators. Let me let me let me do something. Um okay, you are wait. Let me let me let me let me do Patricia 102585. Patricia, you are wait right there. 10 2585. That's one day after my birthday. It really is. You are just so young. I was getting ready to get married at that age. I really was. Let me pop you in, Patricia. What are you? Oh, you're a four. See, I get along really good with fours. I get along really well with fours. Really, they've been the best people I've got along with. Happy go lucky. Absolutely. Okay, yes, that's right. I just need your birth date. Your birthday, your month, day, and year. Um, Christina, 12566. I'm 125. That's my year. I was born 66. Christina, honey, we're going to look at you. Boom. Oh, you're a three. That's great. Okay, four. 2558. So we're going to get you, O Rider, for 2558. April. Yes, we got to get you going. Boom! You are a seven. That's a good number. I, I rarely found any sevens where I was at. Rarely. Yes. Um, so we got a um, freedom. 51775. Freedom. I'm gonna do you 51775. Yeah, you are five if I don't see yours, it means that um, I didn't see it. You are an eight. You are an eight right there. You like to make an impact on the world world. A person of authority. That's you. Um, Shelly, 72980, yeah, June, July, July, 72980, 2980, you are a, you are a nine, boom, dig, you are 11, 16, 70. Let me do 11, 16, 70. 11, 16, 70. I probably won't be able to get all of your eyes on here. It's just whenever I look at the phone. You are an eight also. Um, Stacy, 8178. Stacy. One seventy eight. You are a seven. We got two sevens on here. Tomas twelve seven seventy seven. Hmm. This cannot be. You all. We got three sevens. Do you see what we got? Three sevens in a row. <laughs> Is that three sevens in a row or two sevens in a row? Oh my gosh. Let me see that. 10, 15, 57. Let me see this. Oh, you're a master number 11. That's great. That's great. Whoever that was, you are a master number 11. If that was your birthday, October of 57, right there. Um, yes, you all. Let me see this. <laughs> There's no way I can get everybody on here. 627, 66. Let me see this, you all. 6, 
627.66. Yeah. Yeah, and you can go here, too, and you can look it up. If that's your birthday, you are a life path number one. Let me go back here to one of these, you all. I want to come back here. I want to, did I already do a heart of an astro, astria? I'm going to go back in the comments, and I'm going to look and see. You got um, a heart. Uh, you got 10, 20, 88. Did I do you already? 10, 20, 88. 10, 20, um, 88. Whoa, you're an 11 too. <laughs> oh my God, that's two 11s in a row, you all. <laughs> what are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? That's two 11s in a row. Oh my gosh, Le Lenny Wilson, 227.58. Let me look at this. 227, yeah, 58. Can we get that 58? I'm gonna get a 58, you all. I wanted to go back because I had lost a lot of them. Yeah. Whoa, you are a seven. The next will be 11. It's like a lottery, you I'm coming up here. I'm gonna come up here, you all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Linda. Linda, honey. Linda Hinojas. Um, let me do you. You are 12, you're a December. The 29th of 61. Uh, 29th of 61. Let's see what you are. So you watch this. See what you come up as. You are a life path 22. You are a master number. That's wonderful. See, you are a master number. Laura, let me do you. Laura. Le, le, let me see. Laura Labo. Let me see what you are. November of, let's see, November um, of 65, 14 of 65. Whoa, you are a one. Yes, the master builder. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I mean, you're not, no, you're not the master builder, but you are life path number one in leadership and trailblazing. Yes, you. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna do three more because this is a lot to work. You all, it is. Uh, it's a lot of work. So, um, Evelyn, we're gonna do you, Evelyn. You are one six of fifty two. One six of fifty two. We're gonna see you on here. We just flip it around. So that's one. I got two more after this. Boom, you are a life path number six. Life path number six. You I'm gonna go back just with this one part. And I'm gonna do oh buckshot. Oh buckshot. Um you are 71070. We're gonna punch you in. Oh buckshot. Seven ten seventy. Oh, I had to go up to get you. I got one more after this, you all. Boom, you are a seven. Yes, this is right here. So this is called, where am I? Oh, here, right here, I had to go up here. It's um, it's tokenrock.com is what it is. Life Path Calculator. It's tokenrock.com. It's all one word. Is what it is, you are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm scroll up through here, and I'm where, where my finger stops. That's who I'm gonna choose right here. It's um, Shayna Richards. You're seven three sixty five. Um, and I'm sorry. I, I wish I could get everybody's, but it it it'd take up a ton of my time, and I got to get myself unwound. Would I say seven? I hope I did it right. Boom, a four right there. Right there you are. And one more for good luck. One more for good luck. Jennifer, I'm gonna do you. One more for good luck um, is what I'm gonna do. 12, 23, 71. This is, this is my last one, you all. Um, 12, 23, 71.
Boom. An eight. You are a person of authority and material wealth. You often are the master artist successful in the career of your choosing. You are. That's it. Wow, that was it. Simple geometria. Yes. Let, let me show you this. What's the name of that site? Let me show you what it is. So, um, let me go back here. It's called... It's called tokenrock.com. And then it's a, a life path calculator. If you go there, um, they got a life path calculator right there, and you can just type it in, is what you do, you all. Wow, you're so welcome. That was, yeah, Token Rock Life. Thank you, um, Lita. That's wonderful. What did it say for you, O Rider? Um, you are a seven. Um, Gunnerman, thank you. Bang, bang, did you want yours done? You can do it yourself. Yeah, if you were a seven. Mm, it says that, um, you are analytical, logical, reserved, inventive, knowledgeable, studious, introspective, and intuitive. The negative thing you would have would be calculating. You're withdrawn, cynical, egotistical. <laughs> Not saying you'd have that. Over analytical, insensitive, aloof, and distrusting. Now, see, that's the negative if you can't balance it out. <laughs> bang, bang, honey, we can do that for you. Yes, we can. We're going to do it for you, bang, bang. You are 10868. That's what you are. Yes, you are. Boom. Let me do this right like this. We're going to pop you around. That's right, all right. Or don't ask if you don't want to know. <laughs> wow, bang, bang. You are a number six. Yeah. I think number six are, oh, you are a harmonizer. So, yeah, if you're all, if you're a six, you are a harmonizer. Yes, you like harmony. There's nothing wrong with harmony, you all. There's nothing at all wrong with harmony. What's really neat there, too, I mean, this is just, just something to play around with. And don't base your life off this either, don't. But it, it they pretty kind of, it pretty does, um, it pretty, I can't talk. It's pretty interesting how it picks out certain of your traits. And you think, yeah, 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 that is me. That is me. Um, so, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Let me do this really fast. So, um, Deb, honey, you, you are this right here. You are a number eight. Yeah. Okay, you are. That was fun. That was fun. Yes. Christine, you got to quit speaking those uh, words of self, whatever, within you. This negative, you need to get that out of your mind. Yes, that's right. Sixty, yes, that's right. Get it out of your mind. Um, what that mean? What that mean? Did what we say it was? Deb, um... I can't see on here. Oh, it says that you work very hard to reach your goals and you could be considered a workaholic. Um, but you need balance. That's all right. Um, you make an impact on the word, world through your drive and your ambition. You're a go-getter. That's right. You're a go-getter. Soylent. Yes, love and respect to everybody. That's right. You all better go. This is um. Oh my gosh, y'all. We have, we have hit over one hour is what we've done. One whole hour. Yeah. That's right. See, that's all right. See, you did it. You did it. That's right. You made it. I'm gonna go. You all. It's been fun with you all on here tonight. It really has. It is. That's right. Giggles. 
Exactly. Yes, right. You can be your own best friend or your own worst enemy. That's exactly right. You are so very welcome. That was fun, you all. It was fun. You all give this video a thumbs up. Yes, fun love doesn't have time. That's right. Oh, Island Jen. That's all right. That's, yeah. You get it the next time. That's right. So, uh, I am going to go. And I want to thank you moderators for on being on here. I do. And thank you all for commenting. It was it was nice. It really was. Yes. It was nice. Um, so, with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours, love. You have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. And um, thanks again. This is fun. Uh, now we just got to wind down. Yeah. Love you. Thank you. Oh, I can just push this button. I don't got to push my... Um, computer deck. Yeah.